Good evening. My name is Karen Torres. My name is Luis Hall Valdez. My name is Lizette Hernandez. And my name is Jennifer Del Toro. So as future marketers in the new digital age, it's essential we learn to be creative and stand out from the crowd. The article we would like to share with you all today reinforces that point. We chose the article Long Live the King to highlight a real-life marketing success story that maximized profits and minimized costs by using cost-effective creative marketing tactics. So show of hands, how many of you recall seeing the king walk out with Mayweather during the fight of the century? I see a few hands. Very interesting, right? You probably were thinking, what's going on there? How, how was he able to manage that? Burger King's strategic use of this pop culture platform sent social media channels into a frenzy. Whether we like it or not, popular culture and social media are the new normal. And this is Burger King's digital success story. Burger King is not scared to take risks. Actually, they actually paid Mayweather $20 million just to have him walk out with him. He, he didn't even talk. And as mentioned in the article, they took two big events and within the same time frame, and they, did a, they targeted a huge audience, which had the social media buzzing. They also they targeted so smart and creatively that they're constantly causing brand awareness. The many lessons gathered from this article, the first is that social media is a powerful tool. Social media and word of mouth are two of the most inexpensive yet cost-effective ways to create brand awareness. Burking also showed that sneaking in their brand, they showed it in a creative way as seen here in the Pacquiao Mayweather fight, and it paid off very well for them creating a buzz. They also demonstrate a willingness to be edgy, such as the one seen here in their fiery chicken fries ad, which claims that it's hotter than your internet browsing history. <laughs> pays off as well. We can also learn from guerrilla marketing, which is widely used in the music industry and is becoming popular in other industries such as this one as well. Here, Burger King challenged McDonald's to create a McWhopper. McDonald's didn't take the challenge, but it created a buzz nonetheless. So some of you may be wondering how this article is going to help you in the future. The answer is simple. Traditional marketing is changing. The shift is going more digital, and employers are in desperate need of individuals with these specific skill sets. These are two upper-level marketing electives that I'm currently enrolled in this semester, digital and internet marketing and social media marketing. I highly recommend if you're looking for upper-level marketing electives that you, um, if you're interested in developing your skills in that area, these are two wonderful courses I really highly recommend. And our professors are just constantly talking about how the job market in this area is vastly growing. So there's a lot of opportunity there. So as we've seen, creating a buzz for a restaurant or a brand it can generate exponential referrals on social media. Another example here is um, correlating with our Burger King viral marketing stunt was the Ellen DeGeneres Oscar selfie that most of you have known or seen before. Um, so do you know that Samsung was behind this? Samsung paid $20 million to sponsor the Oscars Awards, an award viewed by millions on TV. So uh, throughout the whole night, they used the you need to see this tagline to that was used to promote, uh, or it was a strategy to promote their new Galaxy Note 3. Uh, the plan was for Ellen to take a selfie with a celebrity, which would then which will then give the give the audience a demonstrating that hip people use their product. And the stud caused the picture to go viral and within an hour on Twitter, making this a great case of how marketing is shifting channels towards more digital and social media. So I hope you guys joined our presentation today. Does anybody have any questions for us?